Hello everybody, my name is Petr Kouten and today I have for you another brilliant chess game and today I will speak about David Navara. David Navara used to be one of the strongest Czech chess player in history and it's pretty hard to find his best game because he played uh, lots of beautiful chess games in his career but I found it this game which was played on 1998 David Navarra is a white and Jan Helbig is a black and this game is pretty nice and I think that it's exciting up to me that's another chess beauty because what you will see you will see how white is going to sack his knight and queen and in the middle of a really messy position black will not be able to find the best moves and black king will be checkmated so that's the story of this game and that's the reason why i believe that it's good to watch this game till end and why this game is exciting and why this game is worth of your time so david navara is playing one of the sharpest variation against sicilians opening and he playing a long castle now before attack on of course white is looking forward to attack black's king white has to bring all his pieces to game so bishop d3 that's the first good move you know that's not something like chess beauty and move where everybody will tell wow that's a beauty but no this is a simple and strong move because before white will start attack has to be ready for attack and has to bring all his pieces to game and for this reason rook ivan it's good move as well because this uh, rook is supporting pawn e4 of course is looking exactly where a black king is standing and nearly everything is ready for attack after bishop uh, b7 of course white queen it's not feeling healthy on f3 because he's looking uh, there dangerous uh, black's light squares bishop and uh, make a sense to spend one more move and to go to g3 and i think that after this move white is ready black played move b4 and david navara is going to sack his knight maybe this is still a theory maybe not uh, it's not important if we are inside of long and deep theory but at the end i think that this move is nice move because knight d5 it's a brave move and of course uh, black has to decide if he's taking this knight or no i am sure that if black is not taking this knight has a big big difficulties but what's happened for example if black is taking this knight by a knight so that's not a sack but that's only exchange and because of black's king staying still in the center i don't believe that black's position is healthy say in our variation black should take on d5 and one opponent but after exchange on e7 black's king is terribly weak and maybe knight f5 is a good move you know that's not a sack because rook on e1 is doing a good job and is looking exactly to black's king and believe me or no i think that uh, black is nearly lost okay i think that uh, check on g5 and uh, to take on g7 um that's a absolutely bad position for black if you agree i'm coming back because that was only variation because what's happened after move knight d5 black accepted this sack and he took a knight so since now till end white is playing position with white down so black's got more material and if white is not happy to lose this game has to prove his compensation and of course has to attack black's king and e5 is a strong attacking move opening center and opening position and of course is going to attack another black's piece up to me this position is 
chaotic and messy but uh, of course black is still not losing because uh, black is ahead of material and should defend his position so black took on e5 and now played knight h5 i think that maybe everything makes sense but right now uh, white's queen on g3 is under attack and uh, david navara is going to play move e6 wow he is going to sack his queen on g3 and that's something what i can't understand how is possible that's a beautiful brave chess move and it's really difficult to count all variations still and and still believe that white is not losing because uh, white is losing a queen so let's play move e6 that's a brave of course black took a queen check on f7 and now rook on e7 so maybe small compensation say two variations and two ways a really bad bad answer is to go immediately to f8 because that's a checkmate in next two or three moves check on e6 and checkmate on g7 that was a false threat again if black is going now to f8 there is a checkmate on g7 check and checkmate for this reason black has to be careful and black came to g8 maybe um, white lost a queen but uh, black is playing without this rook and that's a danger for black to claim material advantage if he's playing without rook on h8 and maybe that's the compensation or that's the position where david navara believed that he's playing for victory okay he took on g3 and now played knight e6 that's a good move of course because this knight is defending important bishop on g5 and of course here is uh, it's nasty checkmate uh, on g7 so black played queen e5 and he's ready to give back some material of course to take on g7 right now it's not the best because if white is taking on g7 and looks like checkmate that's a not a checkmate because black will take by a queen knight and at the end you know white is a rook down so white has to be careful and of course he is he is going to bring another piece to game and he played a rook f1 that's a beautiful picture of beautiful game where all white species are doing a good job they are attacking they are active and um, there is no room for bad piece because of course uh, black is ahead of material black has to be careful and white has to be active and aggressive and after knight f8 bishop f5 okay i think that here black missed first good answer and he has to play move g6 and the g6 is the best move i'm going to show variation say uh why should take on f8 e7 knight d7 still i believe that black's got advantage and maybe white's got not full compensation for missing material but of course it's really difficult to play um, hard position and it's difficult to see everything and i'm not going to blame david navara that he blunder a queen you know i think that he is playing good game and he believed that uh, black will not be able to defend with the best moves and he is not able to defend with the best moves because he played bishop c8 and after rook e8 that's the last chance for black to survive if black is playing brave and strange looking move king f7 maybe black is not losing our variation will tell you that that's a draw nothing else 
but uh, we are lucky that uh, black missed this move and played bishop b7 because since now till end black is lost and david navarra played another amazing chess game you know let's watch this game till end because uh, that's a beautiful finish bishop g6 wow what's going on how is possible to play this move because here is a checkmate on f8 and if uh, black is taking this rook here is a checkmate on f7 so that's another another tough position for black and a beautiful position because too many white pieces are hanging and it's hard to take even one black played queen f6 and it's too late to offer a queen back because uh, white took queen and now he took on f6 okay the final move is a beautiful move because here is a checkmate on f7 and of course black lost this game david navarra played amazing chess game and i'm happy that we saw this game till end if you enjoyed as i enjoyed feel free and press like or press follow and made my day and i hope that the next time you will see another brilliant chess game thank you very much for your time for your attention likes and follows and i am looking forward to see you here next time thank you and bye bye